Welcome to episode 16 of Top Picks, our fortnightly roundup of the last two weeks in the numismatic world. Yeah, and in this episode, not only do we talk about our recent favourite coins and commemoratives, but we've also got some exciting news for you collectors. So let's get into it. Have we? Mm. Oh, exciting. Okay, let's start off with the really, really exciting news. So we've just heard that um, in the UK they're going to be issuing a 50p and a £5 for the coronation, aren't they? This is exciting because we have been waiting for this, the we UK have. coins. We have, yeah. And of course we don't know what the design is going to be precisely, they've not revealed it, but we know a little bit about it. We'll talk about that in a minute. But this is going to be the first ever coronation coins issued. Um, for King Charles. Mm -hmm. um, first in 70 years. First in 70 years, um, and the first ever 50p for a coronation. Mm -hmm. they've, yeah. they've never had that, of course. Because we only had the first royal 50p last year for the Platinum Jubilee, That's obviously. true, absolutely. So this is like monumental moment for a historic event. L the designs are top secret. Let's tell you about what we do know. We know mm -hmm. the 50p is going to feature the royal cipher, and that's a stunning design. Oh, yeah, um, with I, the C. Yeah. yeah, it does look good. And, of course, that's also going to have Westminster Abbey on the 50p. Oh, no. Yeah. The five pound though is going to have a depiction of the new sovereign um, scepter, um, with a touching tribute to St Edward's crown, which is the crown used in the coronation. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and it's going to be. That's what he'll wear, I guess. Yes, absolutely. So it's going to be in keeping with the whole event. When these get released, you want to be quick to grab hold of them. Keep in contact with us here at the Westminster Collection. Um, you can sign up for more information in the description box below yes. um, and see our blog there as well, I think. Yeah, definitely sign up. All the information we know is there and then you'll be the first to know when they are available. Absolutely. But obviously with this being a UK coin, mm -hmm. obviously £5 don't go into circulation, but yeah. 50p's do sometimes. Yes. Do we know if these ones are going to go into circulation? We don't know for sure, but what I will say is recently we have seen a couple go in, haven't we? We, we, have. we saw the first ever Royal 50p, that Platinum Jubilee, go into circulation, as well as the Queen's Memorial 50p. The first one with the King on it. That's right, they both went into circulation. Mm -hmm. So we don't know for certain, but either way, even if it doesn't, this is certainly one to get hold of. The first ever 50p for a coronation, one of the first ever limited edition coins for a coronation. Yeah. Just a fantastic coin. I'll be all over it. I hope you will be too. Yeah, and you will be too because Absolutely. you need to sign up and then you will know all the details. Okay, so sticking with King Charles III theme, yes. I want to talk about stamps. Ah, uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Yes, so in the last episode we talked about the first King Charles III stamps that you'll see on your post and in the mail, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. Yeah. But recently we've seen the first special stamps. Of King Charles stamps. III. Okay, yes. why, why so, are they special? Well, the commemorative ones that have the silhouette in the corner. Ah, okay. We've seen many over the years for the Queen, yes. obviously, um, but these are the first ones with the King's silhouette and they feature 10 different flowers. Ah, okay, so this is why we've got flowers everywhere? It is. Not just for the first day of spring as it was recently? Well, yeah, but these are absolutely stunning. The flowers on these are amazing designs and obviously they represent the King's passion for gardening. You know, his whole, his whole thing is about environmental sustainability. Mm, very important to him. And he's a keen gardener as well. Okay. Did you know he's actually entered the Chelsea Flower Show a couple of times? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. that is. So, so these are really in keeping then for the King, aren't these they? These are, yeah. So the Royal Mail announced them last week, but as of yesterday, you can order them as part of your collection in this stunning cover, mm -hmm. which features all 10 of the flower stamps with the beautiful flowers, a British Isles King Charles III coronation five pound right. coin, and two flower 10 peas. Oh. So a really nice collection, a way to have them all together, yeah. beautifully presented. And also, I mean, if you've never started collecting stamps, maybe now's the moment, the first for the king, and get all of them. Yeah, that's, I think so. Yeah, and that's a lovely set. Now, when it comes to flowers, I was gonna tell you a joke, but I'd just be pulling your leg. <laughs> I mean, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I really need to stop this once and for all. <laughs> get, get clover it. Sorry. Okay, so moving away from royalty, although it, it seems wrong to do that leading up to such a big event as the coronation, but we're also coming to another big event, mm -hmm. which for me is quite personal. My, my dad was in the RAF during the Second World War. Oh, wow. Yeah, he went in there as a very young man. He ended up as a flight engineer on the Lancaster bombers, flew many, many um, hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, and I mean, I love the RAF because of it. Never went into it myself, but my dad told me lots of stories. Mm -hmm. Now, he wasn't in the Dan Busters raid, um, but obviously he had a big affinity to it because it was a Lancaster bomber that was used in the yeah, Dan Busters raid. Yeah. And it's 80 years now since that. 
since that dam busters raid, since that famous bouncing bomb to take out those, um, to take out the dams. If you've seen the film, it's in black and white, great old military film. It's definitely worth watching. I know I'm old. I do um, need to watch it. Actually, you, you should watch it because history. 80 years ago this happened. It, it was a great moment for the Allies in the war and for the RAF in particular. And in keeping with the anniversary, what we've seen recently is a new collection honouring the RAF. It's called the History of the RAF. Oh. And that's been issued. And you can actually get in on this early mm -hmm. with a free commemorative. So it's the Dam Busters commemorative. Perfect time. How fitting. Perfectly free as well. And all you do is pay the postage and you get it. For free? For free. And by ordering that free, and there's a link in the description box below to do that, it gives you priority access to the rest of the collection. And in that collection, you get the Lancaster, mm -hmm. you get the Typhoon, you get the Vulcan, you get other um, planes from the RAF's history. It is a stunning collection. It's mm -hmm. worth anyone's time. And for the 80th anniversary, I'm going to pull on your heartstrings for my dad. Go and get that um, commemorative Aww. because I'm very proud of my dad and, and, all, and his service and the hundreds and thousands of men and women who've served with the RAF um, in, in over the last hundred plus years now. Yeah. Um, it's definitely worth to get hold of that and mark that occasion and go and watch the film as well. Yeah, what a lovely story and what a lovely collection. Yeah. Okay, so that's a bit about um, my history a little bit there, but your favourite has a bit about your history, and I know you've mentioned this before on a topic because it's so cute. Um, it is very cute, <laughs> yeah. So my favourite is the Bart Simpson minted mini coin. Okay. And it's actually my favourite because at the weekend, I was going through some old games. Right. I got out my old PlayStation, right. and I found a Simpsons game, uh -huh. played it, and the nostalgia that came back was just incredible. Love that. I, lo I love a bit of retro. Yeah. So that led me on to thinking, let's do something Simpsons. Mm. And this coin, it's really nice actually, um, as well as being cute, it is very collectible as well. Ah. So it is struck from one ounce of 0.999 silver. Oh, pure silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it features colouring as well. It's in the shape of Bart Simpson with yes. his little spiky hair. I can see that. Yeah. And it actually, on the back, it features MG, which is the signature of the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening. Ah, of course, yes. Yeah, he also created Futurama and Disenchanted and mm. so many other ones that you would have watched. Mm. And obviously, The Simpsons is massive. It's iconic, isn't it? Yeah. First aired in 1989, and it's had a total of 745 episodes since. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and it holds a couple records as mm. well. So it's the longest running American animated series, yep. the longest running American sitcom, and the longest running American scripted primetime TV series. So it, it is not just a TV show anymore, is it? it it's transcended that. It's a whole thing, yeah, because people say, oh, it's just a bit of fun, just mm. pop The Simpsons on. Yeah. But it's been going for ages, and it really does have a massive following. Mm. So I think if you're a Simpsons fan, if you're a fan of any cartoons, um, this is perfect because it's just something fun, and but also really collectible with that silver. And, and because it is a Simpsons, and because it is so iconic, it, it, the whole collectability goes up, doesn't it? This yeah. is something for the future generations will be sought after. Definitely. When they look back at this generation and the last 40 years or so that have been watching this, just incredible. Yeah, really cute. Oh, really cute. <laughs> So that was my favourite, the Bart Simpson coin. Yes. What's your favourite? Okay, so like usual, I'm going to be a, not quite so cute, but still very traditional okay. and, and very collectible. So obviously, um, with the part of the Queen, we now no longer have any coins being minted with, with her portrait on. Yeah. But during her reign, she actually had five definitive portraits, so five different portraits on our UK currency. Mm -hmm. um, you had the Mary Gillick, which was her first one, that Mary Gillick who, who made that portrait of Her Majesty. Now that featured on all the coins up until 1971. However, of course, never on a 50p. Oh, because decimalisation. Exactly, in 1971. So Arnold Machin was the second definitive, and, mm -hmm. and um, his portrait came on coins in 1968. And actually, 1968. 1968, yeah. Actually, three years before de de decimalisation. What? Yeah. So we actually have a 50p before decimalisation even happened, really. Okay. And so Arnold Machin's portrait was on that one. And then as years went on, Raphael McClough did one, and then in rank broadly, and the fifth and final one, which of course was Jodie Clark. Yes. Now, to get those now is not easy to do, even though you'll find some of them in your coinage, but we do have this pack. Mm -hmm. It's a pack of all four of the 50 P's with the different, four different um, definitive portraits of Her Majesty that could be on a 50 P. So the Mary Gillick isn't in there because it doesn't have a 50 P, but you do get all four 50 P's. Now, these are great coins to give to any new starter, or if you don't have them yet, let, yet yourself, before we get all the King's 50Ps all um, coming to the currency across the next 10, 20 years, God willing, yeah. you can get these four together, gonna have a whole collection. 
Um, and you've got all four there. These two in the larger specification, which yeah, of course, the bigger ones. Um, slightly larger before they change specification to the current size, the two down here. And you know what? I love these. I might get one of these myself, even though I've got these portraits on sovereigns and things like that. But it's have them nice on the 50 to have them piece. together, isn't it? In have them together. Presentation packs. I think really special to have in your collection all together. Yeah, you can display it, you can store it, but the 50p is the coin now, isn't it? It is. It is the, the collector's, collector's coin. coin. Exactly. So this is the way to get it. I Click on that link in the description box below to, to check these out. Um, not one to be missed. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so are you ready? I am ready. For our little <laughs> round up. We do that every time. <laughs> OK, so we started, didn't we, with the big news about the, the UK's 50p and £5 we know is going to come out for the coronation. We don't know exactly when yet, yeah, but that, exactly. that is something to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. And then we looked at those first special King Charles III stamps with the beautiful flowers. Yes, very good. And the Dan Busters raid mm -hmm. on the 80th anniversary. Get in on that collection while you can. My favourite, the Bart Simpson. Yes, and then my favourite, the 50p's with the four portraits of Her Majesty. Really nice, yeah. Mm. You know, it is times like this when we've got big news coming out, great coins coming out, yeah. that it does really make me really excited to be a collector. And it is such a significant moment coming up to the coronation where we're going to see these coins. So, you know, click on that link in the description box below if you're interested in any of the pieces we've talked about in today's video. Don't forget to sign up for updates about that UK coronation coins. Yeah, so you're the first to know. Mm. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up yes. and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Um, well, I was supposed to tell these jokes you have to have two lips. Oh, that was good. I like <laughs> it. Did you just think of that? I just made that. <laughs>